respond on a couple of things. Um, thwart the democratic process, really? There was a vote, people, and unfortunately, 10 votes is a difference, but uh, I think the people have spoken. 2012, it went down in 23 out of 25 districts. 2006, it went down in all 25 districts. 2001, it passed. And it passed in 2001, and what was it? It took the current charter and said, let's make changes. And they took their time and were very deliberate about it. You talk about, Barb, you talk about open-mindedness? This last Charter Review Commission in their first meeting, not only did they throw this form of government out because it was no good, they didn't even discuss the strong mayor form of government. What form of government did he immediately go with? The manager form of government. And why is that? Because they had Washington, D.C. money, state money, that they already knew they were going to get outside of the money here at the city. They never even had meeting after meeting to discuss, well, what about a strong mayor? At least Val Keen in 2006 came out and said, I don't want this form of government, but let's research some other forms of government, but not this group. And Barb, you were going to primary me years ago because I didn't ride my bike enough to work. That was one of the reasons why you were going to primary back, back in 2007. That was an issue. I mean, these are things that come up. I have a history here. And it wasn't just those years. I'm sure I can bring Tony up. I think 10 times this vote's come up. So this is not like, oh my God, this just happened once and it never happened before and this is just so unfair. So progressive form of government? This came out of the progressive era. Progressive, it's the most progressive form of government. And it's not the oldest form of government either. It's in the, yes, the manager's the newer form of the three by a couple of years and a strong mayor is older than this form of government. So it's not ancient. Um, I think the people have spoken. Meg was very clear, Mayor Kelly, I should say, was very clear when she ran. We were at the, I was on opposite sides on this, and I stayed out of this until the numbers, and it's time Saratoga wants to talk about ethics. Did you read any of the things that you mailed out in the city? The caricatures of the city council? The numbers of what health insurance was going to cost? Millions and millions and millions of dollars? Well, you know, Medicare does kick in, and everybody on this table would have to be getting it until like they're 90. The numbers were just totally fictitious. And if you disagreed with that group, and there were a couple of members that did, they were just shut right down immediately with this last group. And I went, there's still a fake Facebook page that it's time Saratoga set up with, with me on it, still open. And I've, every remark and everything on it, like I was backing this change. So let's not get into unethical or any of these other things. Now, maybe the judge is crooked like you're all saying now because the judge followed the law, isn't that odd? He wasn't crooked back in 2012 when he agreed with you to put through the Saratoga citizens, which still hasn't reported the money that they got back in 2012. So, you know, you guys make all these statements and you tell me that you're supposed to file the democratic process. And I thought the democratic process related to whoever got the most votes won. Maybe I'm missing something on that. Now, you have a mayor who's come in here and the last mayor, she, she had the majority, and they instantaneously made this decision of what they were going to do. First meeting, and if you don't believe me, read the minutes or look at the video, because that's what happened. So I, I give Mayor Kelly a lot of kudos here for actually listening to the majority of the voters and the majority from back 2012, the majority in 2006, the majority in 2001, the majority in 1986, the majority or 82, the majority in 1968. So this is not the first time it happened. You know, and you can call us imbeciles, and we don't know what we're talking about and all these other things. That's that's nice. I get that. But the bottom line is these everybody who voted no is an idiot. Cuz that's what you make us feel like when you say that thing. You know, people voted no. So the majority rule, I think the people have spoken. Now, the last time that this form of government was updated was in a real true open committee where they looked at all options, spoke to the people first versus telling the people what they wanted, and it came back very clear that the people wanted the commission form of government. They didn't want staggered terms. They didn't want four-year terms. Trust me, nobody at this table would argue they wouldn't want a four-year term, but it's not what the people wanted because they asked the people first. They went through, they did lots of updates. It was 17 years ago. So yes, this charter does need some updates. 
And yes, it should be easier for people to run for office. I can tell you one thing, one of the, the League of Women Voters back in the early 80s made it very difficult to run for office here. And the reason was because they put partisan politics here into the city. That's one of the reasons. It used to be you, everybody just ran for office. But that was League of Women Voters did that in the early 80s. That's made the city more partisan. And that's when a lot of the fights started. And Skip will tell you because he goes way back on this. So there's a lot of things we can look at to try to take the current charter and clean up things and listen to some of the discussions that have been brought up, not only in 2017, but in 2012, 2006. Because there were some really good points brought up without just throwing the baby out with the bathwater. And when the Charter Review Commission was set last year, everybody was held hostage for that. So now what we want to do is have a vote every year on this and have a civil war in the city every year because, again, it failed. So I think what Mayor Kelly's doing is not only correct, but I think it's what she's doing is very courageous. And I think Mayor Kelly got elected, yes, a lot of people who voted yes, but if, if, if the people who voted no didn't vote for her, she would have lost. So there was a lot of people who voted no that voted for uh, the mayor also. So I'm on the record of saying that, that I believe this is the correct thing to do. And if you don't like it next year, you can do it all over again. You can, and put, your, put the something out there. But you've had your chances after chance after chance after chance. And I'm sorry, you didn't get there. The jury is still out. Uh, the jury please, is. The can we please not have any comments? The, or we'll ask you to leave. Right. Thank I'm not going to go back and talk with, with you. But the jury is. Um, I don't we, have a two minute time, time thing. Go get your bike. Yeah, I bet. You should know. Anyways, uh, the jury may be out if there's a lawsuit relating to that when the lawsuit's settled, but right now this is a certified election. It was certified months ago. So this is not like something. I don't think it's going to change um, whether somebody believes it is or isn't. So at this point in time, instead of just saying, let's stop the whole city and put this up again, you know, I support this uh, proposal on Mayor Kelly's uh, agenda. And I just want to put my words on in this. Anybody else? I will be um, quick. Uh, I would like to say that uh, first and foremost, I think that the, the main thing I heard was that this was a suspicious election with a suspicious election result and that it was unfair. Um, you know, <laughs> That's that's ridiculous. Um, I, I think the county, the state, they, they pride themselves in um, running um, elections. But if you have an issue with um, an election, take it up with the county. There's the, the city is not the place to take to take that up. Um, in terms of what is on the agenda this evening under Mayor Kelly's um, agenda on forming a charter review commission, um, I too think this is the right thing to do. Um, I know how Mayor Kelly campaigned last year year. Um, she was a supporter of what was put forward by the Charter Review Commission, and she is on the record of saying that, and I think, and I don't necessarily want to speak for her, I think she probably still supports a, a, a different form of government other than the commission form of government. However, I also heard Mayor Kelly run on, if this fails, I will do everything I can to look at what we can do with the commission form of government. I am also on the record prior to the election having said that. I made a commitment to the people. I said, if this fails, I will do everything I can to take a look at the existing commission form of government. And it's been 17 years. I mean, we, we can't afford to wait another few four or five years to look at what we have today and start making some changes. Um, this form of government does need some updating. That is what we are planning to do. Um, I have heard that there was going to be a citizen's petition. This council was going to look at the commission form of government. So what we would have ended up with in the end was, was, was a battle. We would have had two referendums, two different charters on the, um, the ballot up, up for referendum come November. And I don't think it's worth putting the city through that. We have a lot that we want to accomplish. We have agendas. We have city business to get on with. Um, the camp pain that we went through last year with charter reform was not pleasant. It was not nice. And frankly, I think the people that, many of the people that supported the form of government, their argument would have been better served if they had really just stuck to 
the benefits of changing the form of, form of government instead of denigrating us personally, denigrating our form of government, denigrating our city. We're successful in spite of the form of government. Um, so I'm very supportive of this. We need this, and we deserve a year without campaigning hard. And we had a missed opportunity. We are going to look at this form of government, and we are going to make the reforms that it needs. Thank you. Commissioner? And I'm going to, yeah, uh, certainly. Um, I want to I start out, you know, my re remarks. I want to commend um, Mayor Kelly for, for putting the item on the agenda. I think it took a lot of, a lot of guts to put it on there. I know you took a lot of hits for it. Um, and, you know, again, that's, that's all part of being in politics, and I guess, you know, we, we can accept that because it, 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 it works both ways. But, um, you know, I think we have a good opportunity, and I think the, I think the mayor's seen that based on the, the results of the last election. I, I guess, from what I understand, it only takes one vote to win an election. So, you know, in, in that respect, I guess the people have spoken. I guess we can say that. I know there were a lot of people that stood up here before the before the election, and a lot of them were from the from the uh, um, the change of form of government, and they they insisted that the city council should not hire an attorney to go down to the board of elections. That we trust the board of elections. That we you know, and it and the and it just went on and on and on. And it's like, look, we just want to hire this attorney, so there's no shenanigans going on down there. Now that the, now that the election's over, and I believe the election's over because we're all elected based on on the electorate, based on the results of the, of the election, based on it, it's, it's over. I guess we, can, we, can, we need to move on. I think we have a good opportunity to take a look at what we currently have. I, I can't speak for everybody at this table, but I think everybody at this table realizes that, you know, we got something good. The, the city, this, I can't say how, you know, how great the city's doing. We're, we're like one of the fastest growing cities, I think, probably in the nation and certainly in, you know, in the county. Um, again, to miss this opportunity to look at what we currently have, to tweak what we currently have, to make it better, makes a whole lot of sense to me. I sat in on that 2001 uh, Charter Review Commission and they did it, they made so, a, lot of, a lot of changes, a lot of corrections to that, to that commission or to that charter and Currently, today, they're still in, in progress, and they're, and they're working fine. Granted, if you don't like this form of government, you just don't like this form of government. But look at what's going on around you. When you look at the city and the way the city is, and we're the envy of the, of the county, probably the envy of the state. I mean, we're, we're looking good on every single, every single aspect. How can anybody sit out there and say we're not doing good? I, I, I have a problem with that. I, I mean, I, I lived here all my life, and I've seen how the city changed and how the city evolved. And, you know, I guess I respect your opinion. I respect what you have and what you have to say. And, you know, I guess at some point everybody will have, you know, a chance to weigh in on, on what we do here at the table, you know, if, if in fact it's, you know, with, with, with this new charter. But, again, stop and think about, you know, where we are now and how successful this city really is. And some of it is due to, due to the form of government, and some of it's due to just the people that are sitting in the seats, and some of, it, some of it's due to you out there, the public, and the way the public participates, and the volunteers, and just the way the city comes together on, on certain issues. I think that's all part of it. So, you know, it's not just the form of government that, that's good or bad. It's, it's the way everything kind of comes together, and I think we're unique. We're unique because it always seems to work, and, and I think in this respect... I, I'm glad, you know, Mayor Kelly put this on the agenda because I can see changes that need to be made to this charter to bring it into the 21st century. We made those suggestions to the Charter Review Commission, and they just ignored us. We never had, our, we never had an opportunity to, to even speak to it. So I think it will give us, this will give us a chance at least to speak to what we are experiencing, what, what a lot of us at this table have experienced, and me, you know, being a, being a supervisor for eight years down at the county, I'm looking at both sides of the coin. I'm liking what's here. I'm liking the way things are going here. And maybe we can't find people to run, and maybe, but maybe we can, we can change things. Maybe we can make things better so people will, more people will, will be encouraged to do this. I can tell you there's no bigger honor than to sit in this seat and, and provide services to the city and do what we do on a daily basis. We don't make much money, but I'll tell you, you know, in the end, when you look at the city and when you look at you know, how, the, how the people 
it, just the way things the way things are going, it's 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 a good experience. And why somebody wouldn't want to run for office in this city makes absolutely no sense to me. So that argument really go needs to go away. I think, again, I think we can tweak this current charter to to make it to make it look or to make it at least. Bring it into the 21st century, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yes, I, I, would, I certainly support, and I commend Mayor Kelly for, for doing what she's doing. And um, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. I, I do not have a lot to add to what has already been said, but I just want to address one issue that was raised, and that was the question of whether the uh, election of uh, November 2017 was suspicious. <laughs> And uh, I will tell you that um, I believe that our um, County Board of Elections does a very good job at uh, making sure that our uh, elections are conducted in a fair and, and open way. And I have uh, listened to uh, all sides on the conduct of the election, and I have um, uh, examined uh, the, the filings that were made. And, and I personally have no reason to suspect that the election was uh, tampered with, was um, uh, falsified in any way. I, I may not be, uh, I, I wasn't rooting for the way that the election came out, but um, I do think that um, our Board of Elections has done a very good job at making sure that our election results do reflect those votes that were cast. And, and I would not want to um, throw any suspicion on the work of our current Board of Elections. 